One of the next theorems is the tangent radius theorem, and this is quite an easy one. So as always, we will start off with a circle. We're then going to draw one tangent. Hey, Kevin, that's not a tangent. Well done if you pick that up. That is a tangent. A tangent is a line that touches a circle in exactly one place. What we're now going to do is locate the center of the circle, which would be approximately over there. And then we're going to draw a line from the center of the circle to the point where the tangent and the circle meet, like this. And what Euclid found, and you can try this at home, the angle that forms will always be 90 degrees over there. So you have to have a line coming from a center, and it has to hit the tangent. Let's see how it maybe wouldn't work if the line did not come from the center. So let's say we had a point over here, for example, or let, yeah, and then let's connect it from there. We can clearly see that the angle formed would not be 90 degrees. So it has to be a tangent, and it has to come, it has to be a line coming from the center. Now that line that comes from the center, we call it a radius. So what we could say is that angle B, now remember we never want to just say angle B like that in a situation like this, because angle B could be this angle, or it could be the angle we are looking for. So we have to use other letters. So we say O, B, C, because what that means is you start at O, you go to B, and then to C. We'll look at the angle you've just made. It's that one over there, which is what we want. That will be equal to 90 degrees. And the reason that you have to use is the tangent radius theorem. I know some teachers do this, and then they do that, but that's not too important. Just see what your teacher does. But it's got to do with a tangent and a radius. So here we have a tangent and we have a radius. And so when that happens, we know that the angle between those two has to be 90 degrees. So let's just call this C over here. So we can say that angle OAC is equal to 90 degrees, and that's because of the tan radius theorem which stands for tangent radius theorem. And so we can say that angle BAC, which is this one over here by the question mark, that's going to be equal to 60 degrees, right? Because the one part over here is already 30 degrees. And so we can say, therefore, BAC would be 60 degrees. So let me just say BAC over there. 